lots of bright stars. We open in the town of Krypton. I planet, not town. I suck in math. I mean science. Greetings, Kal-El. I'm your father. You are very young. I am very old, as you could tell with my white hair. And your mom is pretty young too. <laughs> I'm like Brad Pitt, go for the young ones, eh? <laughs> Anyways, uh, our planet's exploding, so I'm gonna have to ship you off. Bye! Have a fun time! <laughs> Hello, kal -El. I'm your father. You are very young. Oh, this might be a little bit of a deja vu for you. We kind of rewind the time because the past Superman franchise was a failure in the end. But this time, you'll do great. I promise. <laughs> Alright, this is the last time. If we don't get it this time, <laughs> I'm calling up shop. We're done, man. We're done if we don't get it this time. Man of Steel. Woo! Yes, my movie is making money. I'm sure I'd make my papa proud. <gasps> no! <sighs> this is the life. Marker. What's going on, Mega Movie people? I'll tell you what's going on. Hammer time. In celebration of Thor the Dark World. Oh my gosh, Thor! Yup, that's me. And just a little background on me, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Thor fan? Not so much though. He's a really intimidating guy. Just look at that ponytail. And after seeing this movie, my opinion on him hasn't changed a bit. The first half of the movie, I was kind of like, um, let's count how many people are in the theater. I'm bored. And then the second half, I was like, what's going on? The Nine Realms? What is that? I will say, though, comic book fans are gonna really like it. For me, it was like underwhelming, then overwhelming, and then over. I know there are a lot of Thor fans out there, though, but then again, all of them probably want this movie to be called Loki, The Dark World. I think everyone kind of liked Loki. But after he showed up at Comic-Con in full costume, that was like the last nail on the coffin for everyone to love it. All right, let's keep talking, though, because Man of Steel came out. I didn't get the chance to review it, so let's do that now. Gotta say, pretty disappointed in that one, too. I hate when I I review two movies in one video and I don't like either of the movies. This will go down in history as one of those cases. It'll go down in history. Who's excited for Christmas? Comment below. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys want to know why I was disappointed in Man of Steel, so let's not end the video. The movie started and I really liked it, but then right after the flashbacks when Superman becomes Superman, it just goes... <laughs> It just went downhill. What if I have to tinkle? My mind was on that 7-Eleven logo, the Sears logo, all the other product placements instead of what actually was going on. I mean, I just find it ridiculous that content makers are just such sellouts. Like, why would you do it? Like, it's so distracting. You can't even focus on what's going on. And the whole Superman persona where he's charming and he smiles and he saves people and winks and flies off into the sunset wasn't there. I actually don't think there was ever a sunset in any of the movies. The script is not funny. There is zero jokes in this movie. And Thor had some jokes, but they used, like, Kat Dennings as the major character who gave the comic relief, and she's kind of annoying. In fact, when everyone was like, get her out of there for Thor 2, Marvel was like, okay. Kat Dennings? Hey, it's Marvel. I just didn't find myself having a good time. Superman is Superman, Batman's Batman. Why are you trying to make Superman like Batman? The whole point is to have the contrast so when you have their duo movie, you see that contrast. Now they're both gonna be dark? Come on. But hopefully Superman vs. Batman is actually fun. The next movie in 2015. When was the last time we had a good Superman movie? Superman 2? <laughs> uh, well actually, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace was- No, it wasn't! So that's gonna do it for my superhero sum up. Hey, that was a pretty close one. Shut. Up. Whoa there, buddy. I know you've been through a lot, you know, killing Zod. I promised I wouldn't kill a person. It's alright, you technically didn't kill one person, you know, because of all the people that died in the city of Metropolis. So you won't be that guy who broke his no-kill rule, you'll be that guy who was the cause of thousands of innocent lives, so, so... So <laughs> technically, you shouldn't be mad at yourself because your rule was to not kill a person.
person, right? <gasps> well, uh, yeah. Yes, I guess, I guess you're right. Since you killed more than one person, it's all good. You know what, I shouldn't have ever... You just, you really have a way with words. Aha, thanks, Soups. Now you could go home, have a drink, relax, smoke some kryptonite, you know, the usual. I sure do like the sound of that. <laughs> Maybe a cuddle with Lois Lane? Aha! Aha! <laughs> She's beautiful, isn't she? Oh yes, the eyes, the ears, the smile. Oh, that smile! The nose, you know. Yeah. Hmm? I mean, it's great, it's great, I'd still definitely do things to her. Uh, it's just, she's not as, you know, hot as, uh, Natalie Portman by any means. Hey, excuse me? It's just, Natalie is freaking smoking like when I leave my hammer out to dry on a hot summer day. When I go around that woman, I'm afraid, honestly, because I want to touch her, but she's so hot, I'm afraid I might get burnt. And I'm Thor. <laughs> Sometimes I even say, hey, Natalie Portman, or should I say, Natalie Hotman? Because <laughs> she's... She's smoking. I'm just kidding, I don't call her by her name. I call her my Honey Nut Cheerio. <laughs> Whatever, they're both kind of gods that got They're sent. not gods. Zero Thor gets they're his power. They're both Where's guys with red capes. So it, it's fair to, to, to compare the two. No, it's uh, not. What'd I miss?